Hey there, I just got off a call with a client that's making over a million dollars a month. No, I'm not gonna tell you who they are, but I wanna share their success stories. And if you're new to my channel, I'm not just gonna tell you a bunch of fluff and cool thumbnails and all this you know, random stuff trying to help you figure it out. I'm actually gonna sit down and show you exactly what we do for this client. I'm Brad Smith. Uh, my agency, Automation Links, we spend over $2 million a month in advertising with our clients. And I basically like to break it down and show you exactly what we do in hopes that you learn from this and you take this and you implement it into your business. And of course, if you're new to my channel, it'd be awesome if you subscribed, left me a comment new below. I'll send you this free resource so you can copy it into your business. So this client I work with, we just finished a meeting. We, he, they make over a million dollars per month and we just got done planning their 2024 marketing. A lot goes into that. Like if you aren't planning your 2024 marketing, no matter how big you are, whether you're new, you're small, you're growing or you're scaling, it's definitely important to do, to have a game plan. We need to get that game plan in place. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is break down exactly what we planned out. I showed him what's working for a few other clients and a lot of things are working well for them, but there's a lot of improvements. So we're never gonna be perfect, right? But what we wanna do is we want to continue improving and can continue changing because marketing changes all the time. So in this lesson, in this video, I'm gonna show you and break down exactly what we're gonna do next year and what you should copy and paste and do for yourself. All right, let's get started. So what we wanna look at is, do we wanna increase visitors? Yes. Do we wanna increase leads? Yes. Do we wanna make more sales? Yes. So that means we have to put in the effort and also be strategic about it. And that's where I want you to follow these game plans and do it for yourself. So SEO is changing. 2024, Google's coming out with something called generative AI. They know people prefer to get their answers quick and they wanna get those answers right away in a simple format. They don't wanna to have to go read a blog to see that. Now we still need to do blogs in order for Google to know what we're talking about, but we're gonna be more strategic. We also wanna index all of our pages and our blogs, our FAQs, all the content we have. We need to index that with ChatGPT, with Twitter's uh, Grok, with Bing, all of those networks because they're gonna start answering people's questions using our data so we can go in and index that. So the first thing we covered was a secret keyword. You need to have a secret keyword, something that's different than your competitors. As an example, here's a client I work with here, um, Old Man Overlanding. So number one, he came up with a brand new name no one had. He instantly went number one on Google, instantly went number one on YouTube and his podcast. He's everywhere with hardly any effort. And that's what gave me this idea for 2024 was, if you have a secret keyword no one's using, you will be able to explode to the top for your rankings, but also become the authority. When people search for that keyword, they're gonna see you everywhere and they're gonna be more likely to work with you. And that's exactly what I teach, is how you can stand out, how you can be different, and how you can be the authority, and you need to implement these to see different results. Because you can't rely on the old school posting the social media stuff. You gotta be different. So what we wanna do is first go to Google and we wanna search three to five keywords. What, what would my customer type into Google? And if you type that in and somebody already has a blog, a website or something with those exact words in order, try swapping orders. Try doing different words in different orders. If they still have it, try a different keyword. What you wanna do is find those three to five words in order no one else has. As an example, overlanding tips and tricks for beginners. Now, a lot of people had overlanding tips. A lot of people had overlanding tricks, but nobody had for beginners. So since he had something for beginners, he instantly went number one for his blog, number one for his YouTube channel, and now he gets a ton of searches for this video, this particular video. So you need to find those three to five keywords. Then you need to plan out. You need to come up with one of these per week. So you need to have four a month. And so take a, take a day out of the month and plan these four weeks. Plan your four weeks out. You can do this maybe three months in advance. It really is a 15 to 30 minute job to write these down. And you wanna just continue searching. You can also go to YouTube to search for these. So if you do find that keyword on Google, also go to YouTube and make sure no one has a video about that. That's really important. So once you find those words, write them down, put them in a Google Doc. If you need some help, 
go to Fiverr. This is my affiliate link. Um, it'd be very helpful if you signed up on Fiverr through my affiliate link. If not, don't worry about it. Go to this guy and have him do the research for you. If you want to save time and you want to do it right, if you don't want to become the SEO expert, you know, you can feel free to go search on your own, but you can find freelancers for really low cost to find these keywords for you. As an example, I hired him and I have about 50 in queue ready. So that's, I have a, all of next year ready to go for my secret keywords. Then you need to start creating. So where do you want to be the creator at? And that's why I created something called the professor method, where you need to be the professor in your industry to stand out, be different and be the authority. You need to be the educator, the teacher, the person that people know that they can come learn from, because then they're going to go and hire you or hire you as their private tutor. If we're talking about college professor language, because they know you're the educator, you're the expert in that field. So number one is I recommend YouTube. Now, if you guys want this full page, this whole info, this is just lesson one of three. We have uh, th three lessons here. First one is content creation to become the expert. The second one is growing, actually building relationships with leads and turning them from visitors to leads to customers. And then the third is advertising to really explode your growth. So you can sign up for the professor method on automationlinks.com if you want access to all three lessons and you'll get invited right in this sheet so you can copy and paste all of this. Your YouTube video needs to be educational just like I'm making this video, it's educational. I'm providing you helpful content that you can copy and paste and just use in your business. If you don't prefer being on camera, I do think that's the best. Second best option is make a podcast. Just use your phone, record yourself teaching and educating you'll be able to grow your audience that way. It's also very good for backlinks, and we'll cover that in a minute. And if you don't prefer audio or video, you can write blogs. Now, if you do write a blog, you can use a teleprompter to make the YouTube video or the podcast from it if you don't wanna be on camera. But like I said, try to get on YouTube. It's the most powerful. Second is podcast, third is blog. And you can see that here's a couple examples. This client uh, specifically, he started doing uh, YouTube videos and he grew so fast. It was, it was really cool. He had a secret keyword and he started making videos to build that relationship. So now people trust him. They see that he's the expert and now they, he gets sales on autopilot without ever having to do any work. You know, he, he makes the video, publishes it and that's fun. And then people sign up for his course. Um, I have my blog. I upload my videos to my blog and I have my podcast. So what I do is I take the audio version of my YouTube videos and then I upload it to the podcast as long as it's relevant and makes sense. Um, this one, probably not because I'm recording uh, my screen sharing. So it re really wouldn't make sense since, since I'm sharing my screen. So I would record a different educational audio. So choose which one you'd rather have. And then you're going to actually turn all of them into the same. So then you need to go into content editing. This is a question I get a lot is what about editing my video? Um, what about editing my podcast? Now I use Canva, I use Veed, and then there's Fiverr. You can have a freelancer do it for you for 15 to 30 bucks. It's totally up to you. If you want, you know, it's, uh, it's more about those three to five keywords and you being the educator. This video, I'm not even going to edit. So as long as you feel like you're okay making an educational video that you don't need much edits to, just do that. You know, people like you being authentic, showing your true self, your personality, and you teaching them. That's the goal. They don't care about pretty. Now, if you want pretty and cool videos, go to TikTok. You won't find me there. I'm probably at the very bottom. But if you want educational, that's where you want to be. You want to be the professor, the educator. So it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So feel free to use Canva, V, or Fiverr. For podcasts, you know, you can upload the audio directly to Spotify Podcaster. It's free. And that's where you can add all the information to your website. Um, and same thing, you can use these other services for that. Now for blogging, I really like uh, Reword. It's gonna do all the SEO for you. So it's gonna add, tell you how long the blog should be, how many keywords, uh, images, links, everything. It'll give you a perfectly optimized SEO blog and they're really low cost. So I recommend Reword. And of course, these are all my affiliate links. Uh, you'll find them in the description below. It's always beneficial. You can see this is my Reword. Um, video right here that I edit. You know, this was a lot of editing, but I do have someone that does this for me. I used to do it on my own. Um, but like I mentioned this video, I won't do any edits to um, just because it's educational only. All right, time to publish. So if you guys are still, you know, watching this video, hopefully you are, um, hopefully it's bringing you a ton of value. And that's really the key in my videos and 
and in my course. So if you really want to grow, feel free to go to the professor method uh, automation links and download this course. I've got my free marketing guide you can use, and hopefully I can help you with your marketing in 2024 as well. So next you need to take YouTube and when you upload that video, you can go to chat GPT and have it help you. And that's what we're going to start diving into below. So if you upload your YouTube video and you can leave it as unlisted, you wait about an hour, you can go back and find your transcription. You can copy that and you'll go paste that into chat GPT for this next section down below. For Spotify, you can use a, a software called rev.com that where it'll just download your transcriptions, your audio, if you want to save time. If you don't want to wait that hour for YouTube to do it for free, you can use Rev and it's like, I think 50 cents a minute or something. It's not that expensive. Usually it's three, three bucks per video if it's a longer one. And then for the website plus the content, let's say you're only wanting to do blog. You don't want to do any audio or video. You can use a software called CapCut. So you basically take your blog, you can add it to CapCut and it'll make a video for you. Super cool. Um, it's not going to look the coolest. It's not going to have the relationship. It's not going to have your personality, but it's something. At least it's getting it out there. And that's what I want to really encourage you guys is to be on YouTube, on a podcast, and a blog on your website. All three will make you that authority and give you more content to push out to educate your potential customers. And that's the key here. And that's where we go in lesson two is how to turn a visitor from a lead into a customer using the education process. You can see this is how I have my YouTube video and my blog. I get to the description from ChatGPT to add. Um, I'm also going to give you one thing here in a minute, and then you add this to podcasts as well. So one thing I mentioned at the beginning is Google's changing their algorithm to AI answers. They want to give quick, simple answers. And you're going to see a prompt below where we actually are putting four simple questions and answers at the top of all of our blog posts. We think Google's going to grab this information and give it to the user. We're already seeing results where all of my blog posts that I'm writing with this are instantly going to number one. Now, yes, I do have those secret three to five keywords at the top, so that's helpful. But then AI is grabbing these four questions. If anyone asks any of these four questions, they're grabbing them, using my answers to spit it out to people when they do their search. Uh, people under 18 already have this on their phones, but coming in January, I think they're going to roll it out to everybody. I want to give you some simple chat GPT prompts that you can basically copy and paste. So you can go to chat GPT, you can copy this. You can see I did it down here below and you can say, take the transcription from my blog and I want you to turn this into my YouTube description. And that's really what you want. You want an SEO YouTube description. You want to have the right links. You need to have the timestamps in there. And I even like adding some quotes because I like to add authentic keywords, authentic words that I'm saying. So ChatGPT doesn't make up words, right? That's the last thing we want. Then you can go and add your transcription there and it'll give you the exact description you should put in your podcast and your YouTube video. Really cool. From there, you can ask it to give you those four common questions and four answers. Put those everywhere at the top of your blog, in your podcast, and in your YouTube video because if they're recommending people ask those questions and you're the one answering them, you're the educator now. You're the authority and the expert people are going to trust. Same thing for the blog. Now you can actually take your audio and you can turn that into a blog post. That way it's authentic. It's not plagiarized. ChatGPT can't find the words all over the internet that you spoke. So that's really key here. Take that and use this exact prompt. You can copy and paste this prompt, post it in ChatGPT with your transcriptions, and it's going to write the blog for you. Super awesome and it's going to save you time. And you're going to be completely different than everyone else because no one else is doing this tactic. They're just having them write a blog and scouring the internet for information. Time to make some posts. So this is your whole week right here. You found your, your secret keyword. You make one piece of content like a YouTube video. Use ChatGPT to make you the descriptions from there. Now you can actually use ChatGPT with this prompt here. Go ahead and copy this prompt to write seven social media posts for all your social media channels for the whole week. Now you have your one pillar content, we call it. And then seven social media posts off of that with this post. It's going to say, hey, write seven engaging, quality, professional, concise social media posts. Hey, for Twitter and LinkedIn, make them a little shorter so they stick out. Add SEO for Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest so people find me on Google. Don't use too many emojis. Like, that's really key there. 
sometimes they fill it with emojis. You can see my example here that I did. They started writing my post for me. Look how easy it is. And if you don't have time to do this, make time. Because in 2024, you need to be different and this will make you be different. Paste all of these in a Google Doc so you have them saved. You can get a freelancer to do this for you um, or you just go in and you start scheduling these out. So this is what we use. We use a software called Publer. Again, affiliate link. Appreciate it if you sign up. It's my favorite one out there. You go in, you add your images, your videos, and then you take those, copy and paste those social media posts that ChatGPT gave you. Of course, take a look at them, make some small edits. They're not, they're not gonna be perfect, but they give you a guide. They give you a base that you can go copy and fix and post. Then you can schedule these out. So you can take one day or one day for the whole month or one day for the whole week, depending on your schedule, and you can schedule out all of this content based of, off of your one pillar content, which is super important. Um, from there, you're just gonna get, get them scheduled. You'll want to wait and find out, or if you already know, think about your customer's behavior, uh, when the best time to post is. Everyone's different. When are your customers on social media browsing the most? That's when you're gonna wanna post it. Publer will start giving you that data the more you use them. And then th you can auto post when that person's most likely to see it, which is gonna be key to continue getting more eyeballs to it. Last but not least, what social media platforms should you be on? All of them. And if you use the strategy, it's easy to be on all of them. You integrate them all with Publer, you use ChatGPT, you make one piece of content. And I think I did the calculations, it's over 700 pieces of content a month if you do this. So you make one, right? Or you, you make one a week, so you make four a month, okay? That's gonna bring you over 700 pieces of content for the whole month off of your four. And you will be the educator, you're gonna be standing out, you're gonna be different. You're gonna be on every single platform and you're gonna grow. Now, most businesses are gonna be on um, YouTube, of course, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram. That's like the common, right, TikTok. Now, if you really wanna boost it, you know, I recommend going to Fiverr and getting a freelancer to make sure you're on all of these. What they'll do is they'll go and make sure they are all, all your content's posted. And then um, they'll go and make sure that, you know, things like Medium Core on Reddit, which are really important for your website SEO, they'll make sure that your content is on there also because that does take a lot of time. You have to go in and engage, you have to comment, you've got to post strategically. So it is beneficial to be on all of these. If you don't have time to do them, get a freelancer at a really low cost. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was long, but you can feel free to go download the professor method and comment new if you want this guide, if you want to start using these prompts. And hopefully you join me for lesson two. That'll be the next one about en engaging, turning a visitor from to a lead to a customer and then lesson three is all about advertising. So thanks again for watching. Um, hopefully you subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.